ஒரு <laughs> So while we have over a billion people in India and we always consider that India to be an overpopulated country there are many people who are unable to have children and who are who find the benefit from the assisted uh, reproductive technologies so it is it is essential that this technology is available to all and it is also regulated and uh, may ensure that best medical practices are followed while this technology is made available to all sir indulge me a little bit I am a great admirer of our Puranams, Idhigasams and Epics. I grew up reading Amar Chitra Kada. I don't even know whether Amar Chitra Kada is still around or not. But I grew up reading Amar Chitra Kada. It is around. My maternal grandmother, when I was growing up, told me many fables and stories. Sir, this is a government which professes to draw inspiration from our Puranas and from our Idhigasams and from our Epics. Government ministers have spoken about Pushpak Vimana. i have asked even research to be done on the existence of the pushpak vimana and the science behind it the prime minister has alluded to ganesha when he was addressing a conference of doctors in 2014 sir i come from shivaganga pilliyarpatti is the biggest temple there and the most famous temple there and we are all great devotees of ganesha in fact there is not a single day goes by where i do not say ekadandaya vitmahe vakratundaya timahi tanno tanji prajodayat without starting my day but the prime minister when he spoke to the doctors said that evidence of plastic surgery was there because ganesha has an elephant head which was fitted to a human being it's a different matter and i've always wondered how a circumference of an elephant head can be fitted to a human but still we draw inspiration from our puranas sir our epics have so many instances of unconventional births our entire epics if you read the mahabharata is the starting point of that If you look at the Kuru dynasty of the Kauravas, Dhritarashtra and Gandhari could not have children. In fact, the, the legend is that the entire Kuru princes, the hundred of them from Duryodhana, who is actually called Suryodhana. In fact, I must we must have a debate why Duryodhana's name is not called as Suryodhana, which is real name is Suryodhana. In fact, somebody must explain this to me at some point of time. Hundred of them were born on earthen pots. We always believe that this is the beginning of the test tube baby. Perhaps came from the inspiration from this. This is what your government believes. Your government always draws inspiration from epics. The Pandavas, again, you know that King Pandu was cursed by Durvasa. He could not have children through Kunti or Madri. In fact, Kunti had to evoke the gods to have children. That system was called Niyoge. Surya was the father of Karna. Dharma was was was, was fathered by 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 Yama. Uh, Yudhi, uh, Arjuna was fathered by 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 Indra. Uh, Bhima was fathered by Vayu, and Nakula and Sakateva were fathered by the Ashwini twins. So the system of Niyoga was there in those days. And sir, in Kerala, the most revered god Ayappa is he said to have been born between the union of Shiva and Vishnu. That is why he is called Hariyara Sudar. And in Tamil Nadu, the most revered god is Muruga. In fact my parents have named me after the same god Karthi is one more name for Muruga and he was born from the Netrikan which is the third eye of Shiva only from Shiva so our puranas have unconventional births are mentioned in our puranas throughout this government always says it draws inspiration from these puranas but sir this this law which they have drafted is not inspired by the liberal hindu epics in fact this law has been drafted by somebody who's got a regressive colonial victorian mindset yeah. please keep that in mind yeah. it is not from the hindu liberal traditions this law has come this law has come from the completely regressive victorian colonial mindset i will tell you why sir this law excludes many people rather than includes them see when i have given you so many instances of unconventional births unconventional unions within in, the, in our hindu epics this law only allows married people to have access to this technology it does not allow lgbtq people to have access to this technology this this does not allow single men to have access to this technology so this law is actually a victorian law it is not a hindu law 
So don't ever say you are a government which is actually propagating Hindu values. If Hindu values are there, it's a liberal value. You are in fact propagating a Victorian colonial value. Sir, India, I don't know. India, I don't know. India, I don't know.